I am Nick Nydorf. I am the production manager for the Porters of Hell's Gate Theatre Company. I'm also their resident sound designer and composer. I've been with the company for about six years, although I've known the founders the entire 10 they've existed. So many friends hold a special place in my heart that I've met through the company or knew going into it, but working with them, you know, all, all that shared experience. And Shakespeare just had such a keen eye for all the nuances and vicissitudes of humanity, the good, the bad. Regardless of which play we've done, how famous it is, how, how well regarded it is, uh, you can always learn something about humanity from his plays. And of course, if you learn something about humanity, you're learning something about yourself. My first meaningful experience with Shakespeare was learning about him a little bit in 10th grade. We read Hamlet and Twelfth Night, and Hamlet is pretty heavy for a 16-year-old, but Twelfth Night, was, the, the comedy came through, and I started, I started understanding there was a lot more than just, oh, he's Shakespeare, he's old, he's dead, he's famous, but who cares? You know, and I, I, I could appreciate the universe of things that he had to offer. It takes a lot of dedication to getting the language down. Uh, certainly, certainly something I've noticed, uh, the kind of dividing line between people who really know what they're doing and not is Having taken the time to understand every word, no matter how archaic, which sounds like such a simple thing, but a lot of people don't make that effort, and it and it shows uh, what should be a very uh, specific uh, idea becomes very bland because the delivery is so bland. And also, really understanding how free you are to interpret the work while certain things, such as there being a balcony in Romeo and Juliet, might have been hammered in by tradition, so many people doing it over the years, it's not called for in the text. I, it's pretty remarkable how little Shakespeare pre-programs in there for you, and the characters are so real, you can take things in so many different directions. So having an open mind to the possibilities, the rhythms he built into the plays, they're so perfect, and when a production really understands to not fight against it, to just go with it. Uh, everything just moves beautifully. I chose it because it's incredibly bleak, and while I may not be feeling that way right now, certainly bleakness uh, has been a through line through parts of my life, and well, it's Shakespeare's uh, expression of bleakness, so it's pretty damn good. She should have died hereafter. There would have been a time for such a word tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death out out brief candle life is but a walking shadow a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more it is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing.